folks at home about this one yesterday. State law does clearly say that retailers can't discriminate against people who want to pay with cash. But frankly, the strength of that law is dependent on how Massachusetts Attorney General Maura Healy wants to enforce it. Here's the state law we'll show it to you. It's pretty brief. It says retailers, quote, quote, must accept legal tender. In other words, cash. The Red Sox yesterday showed off their self scanners and announced that anybody who wanted to use cash would first have to convert that money to a prepaid MasterCard debit card. There will be three so-called reverse ATMs inside Fenway where cash customers can make the changeover. There are, we got to point out here, no fees with that. And Fenway's not alone here. The Garden makes cash customers convert money to a MasterCard and Gillette requires conversion to a Visa. But some consumer advocates are wondering if all this runs afoul of state law. You have these concession stands, you have restaurants and bars. I think those clearly are retail establishments and under the law, they can't make you pay with a credit card or a plastic. They have to accept cash as legal tender. And Edgar Dworsky has experience in this. He's a former deputy AG. Attorney General Maura Healy has tweeted about this issue before, including right at the start of the pandemic when some businesses didn't want cash for safety reasons. That's what she wrote, quote, it's illegal to refuse cash in Massachusetts. Businesses should take thoughtful measures to keep their employees and consumers safe. But let's keep our economy open to everybody. That was April of 2020. We asked her office for comment today. They would not say if they believe these cash to card conversion requirements are are within the bounds of state law, but a spokesperson told us they will be reaching out to make sure it's accessible and fair.